Hi, this is Nancy at A Crohn's Intuition. It is in the wee morning hours when I'm recording this. Um, I woke up and thought, well, heck, why not? My three chihuahuas are sound asleep. Agador thinks I've lost my mind. He's trying to roost over there and here I am doing this. But anyhow, I've got a cup of turmeric tea and I've got my incense lit, which is jasmine, and I have a wonderful candle lit, which is uh, sunflowers, makes me think of Susie Gemini. And I have a couple of new decks. Now I'm, I'm um, they both were released here in the United States in the month of October. And the first one I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna do two videos, but the first one I'm gonna talk about is the Cozy Witch Tarot deck. And it is by Amanda Lovelace. And the artwork is by Janina Medeiros. And this is what it says on the back of the box. I love this because for me, we are slap cadab in the middle of cozy season. And when I saw this deck, I, I, I just thought, oh my goodness, this is, this is the perfect deck for this time of the year. And this is what it says on the back of the box. Take a chance for each morning is a new beginning. The creators behind the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck, which I have. Best-selling author Amanda Lovelace and illustrator Jania Medeiros bring you Cozy Witch Tarot, a deck that goes perfectly with your comfiest sweater, a lit candle, and a steaming mug of tea. Well, I've pretty much got that covered, don't I? Inspired by the traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, Cozy Witch Tarot is ideal for beginners and suitable for practitioners at every skill level. And the box, it's a nice, it's a nice, you know, sturdy box. Um, has a USB code on the back of it. Um, and here is the, the little, the little book. It has, uh, let's see. 124 pages. Uh, they are not in color, but there's a there's a good amount of information on each one of the cards. Now, I just got these this the other day, so I have not looked. I've looked at maybe two or three cards. They're still in order. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, lower um, my camera down so that um, you can see the cards another sip of tea here mm. and um, here we go so let's bring it down here I don't know if you can see this very well let me um, try and get a little bit closer to you here we go the first card is the fool the cozy witch and it says, take a chance for each morning is a new beginning. This is the back of the cards. The Magician. And this card says, you have everything you need to do anything you want. I like that. The High Priestess says, when in doubt, your first gut feeling can always be trusted. It's the High Priestess. Looks like she's got a little bit of tarot going on. The Empress is, there is beauty to be found in every experience. This sounds to me like a reassuring deck. The emperor is being the authority of your own life comes with a lot of responsibility. Ain't that the truth? Here is the Hierophant. Tradition is important, but doesn't have to be everything. The Lovers. Will you or won't you? The choice is yours. The 
chariot. You'll never get anywhere if you keep standing still. I like that. That's simple, but it's very profound, you know. Strength. It takes great strength to be soft. The Hermit. There are some things that must be done on your own. Ten is good luck charm. If nothing seems to be going your way, cast a spell. She has a little acorn around her neck, her, her necklace. Justice. Stick to your truth and everything will turn out just fine. I love these images. The patient witch. Learning to get comfortable with sitting still whenever necessary. The broom. Number 13. Tidy up your life so you can make space for something better. Temperance. Let go of self-imposed limitations. Fifteen. Toxic witches. Be cautious of those who take more than they give. The tower. Get ready. Things are about to get shaken up. The star. Have faith that healing is in the forecast. The moon. Taking time for deep self-reflection is essential. The sun. Give yourself permission to experience joy. You know, joy in the simple things uh, gives me much pleasure. Judgment. All the signs say that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. The world. Yay, you did it. Now do something to celebrate a job well done. All right, that is the majors. And here is the Ace of Cups. It says, Potion, do you feel that in your heart that potential, dear? The Two of Cups. Some people are like the pumpkin to your spice. The Three of Cups, come together with your coven. This is a very diverse deck. Four of Cups, try not to be so picky, okay? <laughs> Here's the Five of Cups. Spill tea isn't the end of the world. That's right. You know, just clean it up and pour yourself another cup. Six of Cups. Give yourself the compassion you were never given. Seven of Cups. Not every great option you're given will be a great option for you. The Eight of Cups. If your life feels stale, explore some new scenery. Nine of Cups, live in a constant state of gratitude. That's important, isn't it? Ten of Cups, okay, but sometimes it really is all about rainbows and smiles. The Page of Cups, 
Let yourself be continually surprised by this thing called life. The Knight of Cups. Romanticize the present moment every chance you get. Queen of Cups, honoring your emotions is one of the highest forms of self-care. And the King of Cups, always compose yourself before giving a response. That is a mouthful. <laughs> that is good advice that this King of Cups has given us. Okay, that's the Cups. Here come... The Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, what an abundant opportunity. The Two of Pentacles, when life gets chaotic, find a way to get grounded and balanced. That was the Two of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. Let's see. They're stuck together here. says, what's the saying? Teamwork makes the spell work. The Four of Pentacles, treat yourself to something shiny every now and then. Mm -hmm. You know, that's important. Even if you just go to a charity shop and get you something that is special to you, you know, it doesn't have to cost a lot. The Five of Pentacles, nothing is ever as hopeless as it seems. The Six of Pentacles, every blessing you give will eventually be returned to you. Seven of Pentacles, nurture what you have and see how it grows and grows. Well, good morning, Agador. Eight of Pentacles, sorry, but fairies aren't going to come do all the work for you. <laughs> The Nine of Pentacles. Oh, I like this one. Look, she's in a hammock. Pause and savor the results of your success. And the Ten of Pentacles. Having it all looks different to everyone. The Page of Pentacles. When life gives you lemons, make enchanted lemonade. The Knight of Pentacles. Slowly but surely, you're going places. The Queen of Pentacles. There's no need to sacrifice. You can have it all. And the King of Pentacles. True success isn't just about money. It's about happiness, too. All right, now on to the swords, the Ace of Swords. Look at you, you're bursting with sparkly new ideas. Let's see, this is the Two of Swords, Indecisive Witch. Wake up. What is it that you truly want? The Three of Swords, it's okay to cry. I like that. Four of Swords. Um, why aren't you resting? <laughs> the Five of Swords. You can't be right all of the time. The Six of Swords. All aboard, witch. It's time to write a new chapter. Seven of Swords, are your actions really as selfless as you think? The Eight of Swords, stop overthinking it. Just do it. The Nine of Swords, 
we all get a bit carried away with our worries sometimes. The Ten of Swords. Hurt people, hurt people, and hurt witches, hurt witches. And she has a bottle of curses in her hand. The Page of Swords. Curiosity is a type of magic. The Knight of Swords. Be ambitious. Chase your every dream. Queen of Swords, don't you dare lower your voice for anyone. King of Swords, we can all learn important things from one another. And then here are the Wands, the Ace of Wands. Don't you see how your passion makes you glow? Two of Wands. Your decisions decide your future here, nothing else. Three of Wands. Put yourself out there. You'll be rewarded one way or another. Four of Swords. Let's see. Family is whoever makes you feel the most safe and comfortable being you. Five of Wands. A good coven lets every witch have a say. Six of Wands. You're kind of a big deal, so start acting like it. Seven of Wands. Witches should hold other witches accountable. Eight of Wands, light a fire underneath your cauldron and go, go, go. Nine of Wands, it would take a hell of a lot more to defeat you. Ten of Wands says, blessed Samhain witches, why make things so much more difficult than they need to be? Page of Wands, just because you're passionate about it doesn't mean it will be effortless. The Knight of Wands, sometimes you have to be willing to bend the rules a little. The Queen of Wands, replace your self-doubt with self-confidence. And the final card in the deck is the King of Wands. Shine your inner candlelight bright enough for others to follow. So I don't know about y'all, but I think this is a precious deck. And I am um, very happy that I got it. I think I'm going to enjoy using it um, during this cozy season of uh, autumn and winter. Uh, this is my quiet time when I kind of like a, am introspective and try to learn new things and um, do all the things uh, that I have wanted to do and was too busy during the busier seasons. So, here is the first deck. And then the second deck I am going to show you in the next video is one that just came yesterday. It is the Tree Keeper's Oracle. So I will record that next. This is Nancy at A Crone's Intuition wishing you many, many blessings. And it's time to be a cozy witch. Namaste, my precious friends.